what's up everybody so felt like it was time to do another race and uh, we did the hoopties last time and I got so many cars so I have lots of different tournaments I want to do and this one was especially difficult to decide which cars that I wanted to race with for uh, this tournament which is going to be featuring a lot of Le Mans car and Enduro car uh, let me look around cars yeah cars that mainly would be competing in Le Mans or Enduro or Trans Am IMSA SCCA cars but mostly Le Mans cars on this one is what I tried to put in and uh, so we're going to do a 16 car tournament and uh, may the best car win uh, so first up this is uh, some of these races I've really picked the cars not based on the cars but based on the races like which would make really good races so here we've got two 1998 entries in the Le Mans. Uh, one won and one broke. Uh, the Porsche. Uh, Porsche actually won in 1998. They only, uh, Porsche only made one of these. And uh, it featured a twin turbo six cylinder, flat six. And the Mercedes engine failed. I don't, I don't know what kind of engine they had in that thing. It was probably an eight cylinder. Um, yeah, the uh, one that won was white, this one's purple, but, uh, yeah, I think this will be a cool first race. Alright, let's open them up, see what we got. For, uh, this Porsche 1998, they brought in a team of digital modelers. They modeled the car digitally, uh, before it ever hit a wind tunnel. So that's really what, uh, put Porsche over the edge here in 1998 and this is a really nice casting all right and here's the Mercedes that competed against it this one's silver and gold also have to say really nice casting it's got a nice scoop up here, which would have cooled the cockpit. And a heat extracting uh, vents up here. They are built into the casting. Pretty nice. So this is an old hot wheel. Both all hot wheel castings. But uh, they, I think they stack up well. I mean, people complain about the old castings, but I, got, I have no complaints. Really nice. Put that there. Okay. And... Next up, let's see what we got. Ferrari P4 and the Porsche 917 LH. Now these are, I don't think these raced against each other per se. They're about five years apart, but still cool cars. Uh, both featuring, well, I know the Porsche features a flat 12 cylinder engine and the Ferrari I believe also, I believe also, 12-cylinder engine, but they would both would have made about the same horsepower, roughly, and uh, would have went about 200 miles per hour. Uh, max speed to maybe 210. Uh, yeah. So let's get the Ferrari open. Arguably one of the nicest cars Ferrari has ever made is this car, uh, as far as design goes. Uh, just sleek. Uh, this casting is really super nice. We got chrome engine and a big scoop, a heat extracting scoop right there, and gold wheels. Just a super nice casting. This is the only one that I have. Wish I had another. Maybe I'll find another. Okay. This one, not hard to find. This is a newer casting from last year. But it's really cool because um, this looks really similar to the car they put in Le Mans with the Golf livery. This is really nice. It's got the clear headlights there. Um, yeah, what more can you say? This was a, a twin uh, V12, uh, not a V12, but a flat 12. So it's like a flat six. Uh, they just added six more cylinders to it. All right. So that'll be a good race, hopefully. Yeah, I kind of just picked the cars. I didn't really pick the cars. I had some really nice cars I want to put in this tournament, but 
these were more compelling matchups. All right. So next up, we got the Oldsmobile Aurora, which I just find is just an interesting car all the way around. Aurora, um, I think they believed uh, they used a North Star V8 engines in these. Um, the Aurora is basically was just a very undesirable car that they made in the 90s. Oldsmobile did, and then they somehow got the wild idea to make it into a into a Le Mans racer, and. I don't know the history too well, but I do know that this the engine and the body was just crazy. The engine had a like 10,000 RPM uh, rev limiter um, capability, and the body was very sleek. Uh, they uh, had like a 0.32 drag coefficient on this thing in real life, and this is it's not a great casting, but it's a pretty nice it's pretty nice casting, and you know I think it does I think it does does service to the actual car um, it's got a good weight to it as well so cool and we're gonna put that up against this one which is the Cadillac LMP this one I'm really excited about this is a new age racer um, you if you watch Le Mans nowadays it's gonna feature a lot of these cars um, that are just super duper sleek, super duper fast. Uh, this is uh, Hot Wheels from about the year 2000, and uh, you know this is a nice casting. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice casting. Let's take a look at it. It's got silver on chrome. We got the chrome lace wheels. Got the big spoiler. A nice cockpit. We've got the heat extracting fins up here. You can see here it's got Cadillac with Toshiba livery, copiers, fax. That's interesting. Uh, I like this casting a lot. And these are pretty, actually, pretty fast cars. So we'll see how it does in the tournament. All right, and then the last pair for this side is going to be cars that people know well. That's going to be the Corvette C7R. These also compete in Le Mans. Under a different, you know, a different classification, and uh, this one, you know, is definitely hot wheeled out. It's got the Summit Racing, so they didn't, they don't put any Summit Racing logo on the Le Mans car. But um, yeah, I think it's cool. It's not a bad casting. And this one's from a couple of years ago, maybe last year. All right, and then we're going to put that up against the Viper uh, GTSR. I would have liked to put it up against the um, Ford GT, but I got to get a Dodge in here somewhere, so it's going to be this one, Viper GTSR, which they also put in Le Mans. This one's from 2013. Really nice. They don't necessarily do very well on my drag strip, um, but some of them do. Most of them don't. But that's a very good matchup there because they're very similar look to them. They're both real wheel drive. And, uh, you know, of course, the Viper's 10 cylinder, Corvette's 8 cylinder. Corvette's are going to be radically different going forward with the mid engine. Uh, so they're going to they're gonna compete better on the endurance races and just any race in general. All right, let's switch sides. All right, so on this side, uh, first up, we've got the Jaguar D-Type and the Ferrari 250 Testarossa. Um, yeah, somebody wanted $10 for that car. No, I didn't pay $10, but these this is an interesting matchup. They were pretty close together. This car was out in the late 50s, tearing it up, and won a lot of Le Mans. I think they won 58, 60, and maybe 61. And then this car came out, and this car won. This car was dominant as well in the early 60s. Um, so the, the Jaguar D-Type, it had it has this prompt, prom, prom, pronounced fin in the back, and that was supposed to help it go down the Mulsanne Strait um, easier, more efficiently. And 
they had air, airplane engineers help build this car, Jaguar did, did really well. And this is a nice casting, I've got a couple of these. It's heavy, and so yeah, maybe it'll do well. What do you guys think? Alright, let's put that there. Yeah, and the Ferrari 250 just was a really good racer back in its heyday. Um, I believe these had close to three cylinder, in three liter engines was the limitation back in their day. So they're both similar size engine. And here we go again with the packaging. All right, success. Yeah, this is the only one that I have of this casting. Wish I had more, but I mean of this color. I've got another of this casting, but nice. Malaysia car too. Yeah, this the uh, this one should do pretty good on the track, but um, it's very narrow, so it's going to bounce around a lot, and uh, that's going to hurt it. And but it's a good matchup against this Jaguar because I feel like they're both about the same size. Jaguar quite a bit heavier, but it just wants to roll away. All right, I just have to let it roll. Crash! Oh, it wants to take out the it wants to take out the Corvette. All right, so next up, next up we got two interesting cars. They're not Le Mans cars, but they've just been wanting to race them a while. They're uh, tr these were uh, Trans Am, I want to say, race cars or SCCA race cars. Uh, both kind of weird cars. Both powered by Chevrolet engines. Uh, I think small block V8 engines. Um, we got the Shadow MK2. It's a real, uh, it's actually a real car out there, somewhere. Somebody has it. I think it's just a cool, very cool casting. It's got that wedge design. Big rubber on the back. This is a nice casting. I mean, it's very. If you look up the, if you search this video online, this is the Shadow uh, MK2. You'll find this same car out there. Um, they're all gonna roll away on me, aren't they? Okay, and then the next we got is the Chaparral, Chaparral, the Chaparral 2. Chaparral made a lot of different cars and was just a pioneer of wind, um, of how to manipulate wind around a race, race car and aerodynamics and downforce, and he kind of started all that, to my knowledge. And you can see this has a pretty big uh, wing on it. And he went on to later work with uh, with a Chevrolet on their race team. Kind of uh, left his left his uh, cars behind and went to work for them. Took a lot of his methodologies to work and work for them. So very cool. Close Chevy powered, so sh that's a cool race. All right, and then what we have here is we've got a Ferrari, three 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 S. P and also a Panaz LMP1. The um, we had a couple LMPs over there, so this is will be the LMP on this side, and uh, it'll go against the brute force of the Ferrari 333 SP. I think that's a cool race, and they're both really cool cars. Don't know much about the racing history. Uh, these cars are not hard to find even still the 333 even though it's a Ferrari still can find it out there the flea market thrift store and These are not easy to find uh, this is a Panaz LMP1 Roadster S Just beautiful casting the LMP class just So fast they go they they go around the track so fast, and it's because of all the aerodynamics and the lightweight, and they're just purely built for racing. They don't need to build a production car out of this body style, they just have to race it. So very cool. Alright, and then last up in the tournament is Showdown, Showdown. We've got the GT40. 
in red, and then a Ferrari, of course, it's got to be in red. For, this is the Ferrari 250 LM, just a legendary car, and they're both just so sleek. The styling is just right, and they've just got to face each other. Um, yeah, it just doesn't get much better than that. They're both, I mean, this is lighter, this is pretty heavy, so the GT40 is going to have that brute force, the muscle, and let's see what the Ferrari, maybe the Ferrari can just go down the track so effortlessly. This is a 2007 car, and this one is from 1999. And the other Ferrari took off on me, so we've got to track that thing down. So there's the Ferrari. Ooh, nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, got a chrome grill and a chrome base, of course. But the grill is nice. Pops off deep inside there. It's deep inside there, but it's popping off nice. Just, ooh, these are not easy to find either. I don't know how much I paid for this one, but super nice. Going to be something I have to put on the nice shelf. The nice cars. Even though if, even if, if it's not fast, I still have to show it off because it's just so sweet. And the GT40, you know, not as good looking as the Ferrari, but it's a GT40. What more do you want? It's just, it's America. It's just Americana. All right, here's the GT40. Lots of rubber. It does have side mirrors, so that's cool. Hot Wheels went the extra mile put in the side mirrors, which they don't do on every car. And don't, didn't do a lot in the 90s. So they went the extra mile on the GT40 here on this casting. And what else to say? You can see the engine back there. It's got the intake uh, manifolds kind of where you can see it through the glass. But nothing shiny. Which is how it's supposed to be on a race car. Nothing should be shiny on a race car. Just meant for speed. Alright. There you have it. Let's get started racing. Got them up there. First race is Porsche versus the AMG. So, very cool. All right. Hopefully everything's working. And let's see. Woo! Nice times, actually. Nice, nice times to start off the race with some nice times, but. Whew. That stinks. All right, the Porsche is going down, so the 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 uh, the uh, uh, Mercedes Benz will go forward. Cool. All right. Battle of the big engines here. All right. We've got the Ferrari P4 in red and the Golf colored Porsche 917 LH. Oh, what a surprise. What a surprise. The Ferrari with the gold wheels takes it. Whoo! Both with pretty good times. Not bad. Here we go. We got the Oldsmobile Aurora versus the Cadillac LMP. Very cool. Let's see, who do you got on this one, guys? Oh, close race, close race. Oh, man. Cadillac LMP took it. No, wait, sorry. No, no, the Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile took it. All right, cool. Gold wheels again. Okay, well, none of the cars I thought would win have won so far. Just been some interesting, really tight races. And, uh... Here we've got the Corvette in lane one and the Viper in lane two. Let's see what happens. Should be an interesting race. Oh, I don't know who won. Oh, another close race. Okay. But lane one is taking all the wins. So that's the Corvette. What is it about lane one today? I don't know. All 
right, we're gonna kick it old school. A blast from the past to the 50s, late 50s, early 60s cars here. We got the Ferrari in lane one, and we got the heavy Jaguar D type in lane two. So with the weight of the Jaguar, should win, but lane one has been fast. Oh man, that Ferrari is actually pretty fast. That's the fastest time so far, even though it's a lightweight. Very cool. Unexpected. Jaguar did not pull it out, even though it's a brick. Okay, moving on. What is it about lane one? There's the shadow car in the Chaparral 2. Pretty cool cars. Little cars, but pretty cool. That shadow's got that huge wing and that wedge design. Oh, good race. Oh, and it's still at a 2-1-0. Okay, Shadow takes it. Shadow MK2 takes it. Okay, man, all these, all these, all these runs have been so close. Oh, good race. So here we go. We've got the Panaz GTR1 S and the Ferrari 333 SP in lane two. What's gonna happen here? Man, this is gonna be have my work cut out for me today with all these cars running in such a in such a box. Ooh, oh man, easy call there. Panaz, the wheel is still spinning on the Panaz. Did a good time. The Ferrari, not so great of a time there. You know, I don't like having two of the same color up there but it just happened that way we got two two red cars a Ford and a Ferrari the movies coming out soon for Ford versus Ferrari so this is a good race and they're both about the same size that Ferrari earlier that was a lightweight one and it won decisively and so don't just assume this one's gonna lose let's see it's a Ford by a mile. The Ford GT40 takes it decisively. And that Ferrari is so beautiful, but not fast. All right, so here are your cars moving through to the next round. We've got the Mercedes AMG GT and the Ferrari P4 and the Oldsmobile Aurora, surprising. Uh, the Corvette C7R. We've got the surprising Ferrari 250 Testarossa. It won a lot of races back in its heyday and whoo, I don't think it's done yet. And we got the Shadow, which ran the same time as the Ferrari. Whoo, sleeper. And we've got the Panaz there, LMP. That slick body style and then old school Ferrari GT40. Let's get to racing. Alright, got the Mercedes up there in lane one, the Ferrari in lane two. Should be good. Should be a good race. They've all been good races so far. Here they go. Woo! Nice! Oh, right, we got four star speed. We got four star speed out of the Mercedes with the gold wheels and the P4 did not like lane two as much. Ooh, Mercedes moving on, getting faster. All right, so up here we got the Corvette C7R versus the Oldsmobile Aurora with that slippery body style and that North Star V8. Old school versus new school there. See who can take it. But the Oldsmobile's got the gold wheels. Let's see. Boom! Oldsmobile. Woo! Burning down the track. Burning down the track. Very cool. Oldsmobile's got some juice. All right. 
Ooh, these cars both ran the same time at the last round. But, who will win on this round? Will one of them make four star speed? All right, here we go. Yes! Woo, both still very fast. It's a shame one of them had to go down. But, it was the shadow in lane one. Lane one has been faster tonight. Sorry about that Ferrari, man. The shadow just speaked it out. Fastest time so far. Ooh, two red cars again. Now, this race would not be fair in the real world, but since it's Hot World's world, it is fair. That new school versus old school. That Panaz definitely has more power and more aerodynamics, but the GT40 is legend, so. Will legend prevail here? Let's find out. Yowzers! So close, couldn't even call it, but the timer called it, and it's the Panaz. Womp womp womp. Sorry, GT40. All the legends are going down. Ooh, these cars just didn't make it. Love them, love them, love them, but just didn't make it. So many surprises. And here are the last four. Hanging in there is the Mercedes AMG. The Oldsmobile Aurora. The Shadow MK2 in black. And the Panaz GTR 1S. Don't, I have no idea who's going to win. The Pana, Panaz obviously is the best time so far, but that doesn't mean much when you're racing head-to-head. Alright, let's go. Okay, we got the slippery Oldsmobile Aurora, and over here it's got the AMG. So just trying to keep the, rank, the lane selection just random. As random as I can. Let's see who's going to take it. Fast cars. Who's the fastest car in this tournament? Who's the fastest car in this tournament? Woo! Four star speed. We got four star speed out of the Aurora. And knocking off four star speed is the AMG. Ooh, very nice. Alright, we got the Panaz, lane one, the Shadow MK2 in lane two. I have no idea what's going to happen. Anything can happen. Wow! Wow! Nice time out of that shadow. Nice time. That thing is getting faster as the night goes on. Woo! And that was a close race. Man, what a race. Ooh, we got so many fast cars in this lot. I've really just got to tip my hat to all the cars in this lot. There were so many that were so fast. They're all running within about a tenth of each other, which is crazy. You usually don't get that out of Hot Wheels, to be frank. You just don't. But they've all been pretty fast, except maybe the Viper and the, the, the Corvette which is unsurprising. All the rest of them are pretty fast. And we're left with these two, which is surprising too. Um, so just my hat's off to them. You could probably run this tournament, you know, five times and get five different winners, to be honest. So let's do it. Let's do two out of three. Random lane selection. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Shadow versus Oldsmobile. I'm gonna have to find a couple more of these shadows. I had no idea they'd be this fast. It's not five star speed, but man, still pretty nice. Ooh, here we go. Oh, my. Oh, 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 we might get the five star speed eventually out of the shadow. Dang a lang. Oldsmobile with four star speed. Shadow with the best time of the night. Ooh, it's going to be hard to beat. Shadow 
should have known it would have been a black car in the final. And black cars are dangerous. But Oldsmobile has the gold wheels. So that thing's slippery. Can it come back? Or will the shadow put him away for good and declare himself champion? This could be this could be the last race, guys. And I'll try and whip this camera around. Oh, the shadow! Easy win out of the shadow. Okay, we have our winner. And it's the shadow! Ooh, nice car. Not even a Lamar car. But just a nice looking car. Well done, Shadow.